Canton High School has never had a winning season in nearly 10 years as the varsity lacrosse program, but 2021 is different. At 8-1, the Warriors are already guaranteed their first when rival powerhouse Summers came to town on Tuesday. Canton 0-16 all-time against the perennial small school champ, losing by an average score of 17-2. But this time, it was different. Ryan Weller, a sophomore and one of Canton coach Chris Weller's star sons, gets the Warriors rolling. Drawing the slide, he feeds big brother Griffin Weller for the scoop in front, and hey, look at this, Canton's up 2-0. But true to its reputation, Summers comes roaring back. Ryan Symington gets the Spartans on the board, and goaltender Tyler Poulin stops this strike from Will Wahlberger, and then stops Kenton's Riker Barr. Calvin Long goes long to tie it up. Gavin Rouser goes short on the feed from Garrett Mazinski. And then Cooper Barrett with the seed, and Summers rolling up 4-2 after one. But this Canton team is different. Barr wheels around and goes stick side low. Ryan Weller beats his man and dumps it in to tie things up. Though Barrett again smokes this shot past goaltender Nico Giazzis to put Summers up again, Canton's Mark Friedenberg bounces this one past Pullen to knot it at five. Canton's defense stepping up. Nolan Ranson with the great stick check picked up by Braden Humphrey. And then Barr strikes to put the Warriors back in front. Griffin Weller again. Muscles through the double team and scores! And welcome to the gun show. Barr beats three defenders and strikes and Canton with the six goal second quarter. Warriors in uncharted territory up 8-6 at the break. Third quarter now and it's Griffin Weller again in front to make it a three goal lead for the Warriors. Summers trying to rally, but it was Nico time. The junior goalie Giazzis making save after save. He'd finish with nine big ones for the Warriors. After Cooper Barrett gets Summers within two again, Chris Gottlieb ups the ante with this strike in front with Canton's 10th goal. They've never scored in double digits against Summers. The Spartans aren't finished. Gavin Rouser denied in front, but picks up the loose ball and scores on the putback. And then Brian McGowan swings around and scores, and it's just 10-9, Canton after three. But the Warriors turn it up in the fourth. Look at the dodges from Brian Weller. Draws a crowd and scores to put Canton up two again. Then big brother Griffin Weller scores again with the hook shot. Stick side low for the three goal lead. And that was it. Canton beat Summers for the first time in program history, 12-10. A momentous day for the Warriors who improved to 9-1, the best start in school history marches on. But with a stack class-esque feel on the horizon, there wasn't too much celebrating. It means everything because for years we've sort of like been looking forward to this year. Having the ability and like sort of like team chemistry like to sort of get up when we've been scored on by them and just sort of come together and like play good lacrosse because in years past we haven't been able to do that and they've showed us what it is and today we were I'm glad to say that we were able to show them what good lacrosse was. This is fantastic coming off of a loss against a phenomenal uh, team like Newington this really sets us in the right direction especially closing in on the state tournament closing in on the end of the season really beating a team that's had a solid organization since they've begun multiple state championships it really shows how many pieces of the team we have coming together this year. Like They've got a great program. Ken Kenny runs, they, this, a lot of respect for them. This is a big moment for us. And they're, they're great, they, you know? They have a lot of history. They've had a program 20, 30 years longer than us? 40 years longer than us? Yeah, so there you go. So, you know, a lot of respect. They've got a lot of good components. We just had answers to that. Um, you know, our defensive core is, pretty awesome they're, they're they're you know they're good and you know we've got I think eight guys on defense that I can intermix luckily I'm lucky to have that so you know and then we have an offensive crew that is not afraid to put the ball in the back of the net or hold it when we have to everyone on this team has played together from the DVs like the, like this high to now like we've all been a team we sort of been everywhere together and we're doing we're doing this together what really made the team special this year is that after we lost against Newington I know not a single player on our team could sleep that night. We do not 
where we're just not going to accept anything less than winning every game out from here and always, always putting the best foot forward every practice, every game. From here on out, it's 150% until we come away with some rings. The bottom line is that these guys are having a good time right now. They're feeling it, and I'm enjoying being their coach, honestly. It's, we, we've had, you know, we've had a good ride right now. Beating Summers is an awesome thing, and you guys were great today. I'm so proud of you. Because you know what? We got rings. Never ended today. Didn't that feel good, fellas? Yeah! Yeah. Now we're ending today. Something new in our program. You guys are awesome. You guys are the we first ones who've ever rings. done it. Ten years. Do it again with me. All get rings. Awesome. Yes. I'm so proud of you guys. Right here. Hurry up. Hands up, B. Let's go. Warriors on three. One, two, three. Warriors.